the Nigerian currency. Naira notes are more than just a means of exchange, as they are symbol of the nation's image and identity. As such, the condition reflects the state of the country. Having dirty or torn Naira notes send a negative message about nation's pride and standards. Hence, the need for regular recall of old and torn Naira notes and their subsequent replacements. Checks review that people often buy and sell new notes because they desire clean and new notes which are readily available for occasions where a display of those new notes comes with a sense of prestige and an air importance. With the obvious death of the new notes, officials of commercial banks have taken advantage of the situation to trade these new notes for a fee to vendors. I would say that, first of all, how they got the notes is not to my wisdom. I don't have any idea about that. But the culture of ceremony at parties, I would say it has advantage and disadvantage. First of all, the advantage, first, I would say that it is the pressure of going to bank to draw a huge of amounts or going through that process of writing paperwork to get the money. And the disadvantage is that these people tend to sell the money and get income. And we don't know how come of the money or how they got about the money, if it's fake or original Naira note, if it's printed copies. So I feel like it's something to have both head and, head and tail. So you can't really detect suicide to people. People go to party to buy money to spray. And what they, what they are doing is mutilation of the Naira. One, it is, it is bad to mutilate Naira. So when you say money at parties, you are encouraging people to spray money, which is wrong. Secondly, it is a way of extorting and exploiting people. Let me use the word exploit, not extort. Exploiting them in the sense that you, you see yourself buying 20,000, you, you want to buy so a, a bill of 200,000, 200,000, you buy for 2,000, that's 2,000 again. That is excessive. That is too much. Try as much as possible to curb this act because uh, selling new notes at the party is an abuse to our currency in Nigeria. So as if we are abusing our currency, when you go to other countries, you can't see such a thing. Selling our currency at the party. That means we are using money to buy our currency, which is not supposed to be so. I think what the government and uh, all the agencies have to do in this act is to make sure that uh, they, at least, they just have to look into it and uh, look at the bank, go to the, I mean, direct all the banks not to sell our currency. I, I don't feel it's right, but you know, we've, we've come to adopt it as a culture. Uh, you hardly find such new notes in the banking hall. However, if you go to a party, you get to buy those notes. And so I feel that uh, we can't always say government should do something about it, but we ourselves should evaluate ourselves and see, uh, and see our actions as counterproductive and an, and an economic sabotage. Because really, you can't um, walk into an ATM and get a new note, but you can walk into a party and get a new note. And buy, for instance, if you're getting 20000 at the party, you have to pay extra 5000 or 6000 While the responsibility for maintaining the quality of Naira lies with all stakeholders, it is imperative that the CBN, as a regulator, should step in to address the continuous abuse of the Naira by ensuring that commercial banks involved in currency trade for these purposes are held accountable while also frequently releasing new notes and phasing out defaced ones.